In today's video, I am going to be building the Lego Ninjago Blacksmith Shop, which is a really iconic building from the pilot episodes of Ninjago. So, the best way to start this mock is the minifigures, and I'm going to be including the minifigures from Season 1 and Season 7. First, we just have a random skeleton. And a classic Kai minifigure. And here they both are. First up we have Hands of Time Nia and we have a custom Maya and also a custom Ray. Here are the final minifigures and we also have Nia. Now let's get to the build. This is the base I'm going to be starting with for the mock. It's just uh, one grey plate, a green one, and then also this tan triangle one to add a bit more depth to the build. So yeah, I've also added small rock detailing, a bit of grass detailing, and then also this crate, which is gonna be going on the inside. These two plates are gonna be on the inside just to add a bit more, just to keep the plates all together attached from the bottom. This is the second wall, uh, the, the first wall actually that's been completed. As you can see, I've added a hammer there on the side that you could be used for forging. Also, I've used quite a lot of uh, detailed bricks, a mixture between grey and brown colours, just to add a bit more depth on the inside. You can see the textured bricks there, there's an arch brick there. So yeah, that's the first wall done. Now let's get to the second one. This is actually the uh, other two walls that I've included, the, uh, I've added. This wall here with a window and an entrance way. I've not added a door because I uh, just did not uh, Then also here's the other side wall uh, with a katana on the side and more just clips where you can attach stuff. Uh, I've also added a disc shooter here, but I'll show you more about that. And I also added a Ninjago card uh, of Kendo Cole because in quite a few of the original Ninjago sets they included the card, so I thought that'd be a nice little detail to add and I think the Kendo suit would work for the others. So I'm just going to tile off the top and then start building the roof. So this is the roof that I've finished building, it's the next day now, and I'm actually quite happy with how this turned out. I've used quite a cool few techniques, which I'll show you in the final review. But yeah, I've just that's the roof, and it fits onto the building like so. So now let's review this thing. And here it is, but before I get to the review, please enjoy some cinematic shots I've taken of this mock. So, this was my custom Lego blacksmith shop. So, let's start off by taking a look at the minifigures. So, first we've got Kai, as I showed earlier in his classic suit. I thought this was an essential figure to have because obviously Kai was the first ninja you saw in the show. Uh, obviously, I didn't make him a blacksmith, just I thought it'd be cool to include him in his regular suit. We've got a random skeleton that he was fighting in the first scene, just nothing too special there, just a regular skeleton. Then for the Hands of Time theme minifigures, we've got Hands of Time Nia, because obviously she's a main ninja in Hands of Time, so I thought it'd be essential to include her. Then we've got my custom Ray and Maya. I really like my custom Ray, I think he's really cool, and I like the face print I use for him. My custom Maya, on the other hand, could do with some improvements, but especially the hairpiece, but I think it's all right. So, let's take a look at the actual set. So. Starting from the bottom, obviously I showed the base off earlier, I added just a bit of rock detail in here on the side, also a bit there and a bit of grass inside. Going around to the left, the right left wall, as you can see, uh, I've actually included a disc shooter, which can be shot at the skeletons, if I can just get the angle right. Uh, like, that's difficult to fire, like that. First try. I, this is just a disc that's used. It's just a uh, just a circle piece. I think that is quite cool to include on the sides. I've uh, got more clips on the side here where you can just attach stuff or attach figures to if they're like looks like they're climbing the wall. Something. And on the other side, as you can see here, we've got like some barriers I've made out of wood. Side over the arch. As you can see there's some more clips so you can attach weapons and stuff on the side if you want, like there. Uh, Come around to the front. I used this wood sticker piece on the top. And I did just use a plain one on the bottom, but there's also a, a jumper plate there on the side. Uh, I included this one on the top. I do have another one of these, but the sticker was peeling off, so I thought I'd just include these regular ones. You see there's a window there. 
I've got a bit of brick detailing here on the side, like so, and an arch coming on uh, over the doorway. Uh, you can fit minifigures inside, which is really nice. Um, then coming round to the back, we'll take a look at the inside. You can just remove the roof, oh, like so. The wall's not supposed to get ripped off. Uh, but yes, yeah, so on the wall, on the inside, as you can see, there's more loads of brown and grey uh, um, pieces there with like, quite a lot of detailing on. As you can see there, there's got a hammer to do forging. Got a bucket there which can be filled with weapons. I've not put any in, but they can be filled. Also on the side, I showed off the uh, spinner card and the sword that can be put there. But yeah, which I just think looks quite nice. And there's plenty of room inside to display minifigures. So, say for example, you create, you create the scene from hand to time when Kai and Ray fought each other, uh, like so. You can only fit really about two minifigures inside at a time. You probably could fit more in, but it would be a bit of a tight squeeze. Uh, yeah, so, and then taking a look at the roof. The roof is made up of these parts here from the bottom, like so. Looks really nice. Going around to the back, as you can see, uh, the roof. I do actually quite like how the roof turned out. The roof took me ages to build, and I just think I really actually like how it turned out. It took about a, a, a half a day to figure out how to do the roof, uh, which is really li quite like. Then, uh, so you can open this up, and it reveals a stud shooter on the inside. The stud shooter is actually quite difficult to get to, uh, but if you can just line it up properly. Yeah, it's not the easiest thing to get to, but once you, you can, if you can line it up, like so it's pretty you can fire it it's just really difficult to fire let me just i can't there it fires like that but yeah that's probably a bit difficult to fire but if you can get to it or if i actually just move it back a stud or two it'll probably fire a lot easier but yeah so that's the roof i use this piece to open it up which i quite like because then you can if they use this to grab it open then i also think it does a quite a lot of extra bit of detail into the roof just a lot of textured bricks. As you can see there, I actually included some scorpions on the side to add a bit more detail, which I really like. That seems like something they could do in like a Ninjago City set, which I quite like about that. But yeah, so that was the roof and putting that back on like so. I didn't include the uh, four golden weapons on the roof because first of all, I wouldn't really know where to put them. But then also, um, well, I just, uh, they wouldn't really fit on the roof and so it can kind of be used as a bit like a Hands of Time one, so the blacksmith that they use in Hands of Time, or just the regular one from Season 1. So yeah, thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!